Missouri kid could live 12, 15 years, a cockatiel could live 27 to 30 years, and some of your parrots could be 50, 75 years or even longer. So if you're going to live for a long time, you need a really a balanced type of diet. From a veterinary aspect, we tend to even go with a pelleted diet, or a diet like we make, we make a pelleted and a diet called nutritious. The objective is to take different grains, and add what's missing, commonly methionine, lysine, vitamin A, sometimes a vitamin E's, some of the That's minerals like calcium. From, from some that of our one, common brands? Right. Okay. If you were to take a common seed like millet and canary seed, which is often a seed mix, and maybe some safflower, sunflower seeds, those foods themselves are okay. The problem is they're missing some nutrients. So if, for example, you were to eat just wheat bread all day, Okay, at the end of the year, you have some malnutrition, it doesn't mean the wheat itself is bad. Right. So, what we do with a pellet is so we take the different grains, we add what's missing into it, okay. we grind it up, and then we process it and form it into a pellet. Okay. With the Nutriberry, what we do is we shell the seeds, we add the vitamins and minerals to the outside of it, and we form it into a little brown ball. Oh, okay. The Nutriberry has some advantages over pelleting because it offers more forage. When I pellet something, all the um, tastes kind of become one. It's kind of like if you went out to yeah. dinner mm -hmm. and you had a Greek lettuce mm -hmm. and a piece of steak, right. maybe some fruit, right. which is all great. You stick it all in a blender. Yes, okay. tastes different. Your taste and texture becomes one and right. it gets a little bland. However, nutritionally, it's very good. With the Nutriberry, we have the individual pieces of fruit, the papaya, the mango, the pineapple and the individual seeds, so we have all the tastes and textures okay. that the bird enjoys. So it would be a more natural Yes, type and of especially, in, yes, especially in terms of shape, taste, and texture. And with the more taste and texture you have, the more mental stimulation there is in the brain. And one of the problems with birds sometimes can be behavioral. So we help alleviate some behavioral issues by maximizing the foraging that's in the food. And do your product, what, what types of birds do your products, um, are your products made for? Generally for citizens, which would be parakeets, cockatiels, various parrots, conures, macaws, cockatoos. Okay. And what would you say is the most common mistake that, that bird owners make in feeding their birds? The most common mistake would be getting just a general seed diet from like a Walmart or a Kmart. Again, we're going to be missing the calcium, the different, the various vitamins, and so we end up with deficiencies, and the parakeet will die at age four due to a disease, but it's actually, disease is caused by malnutrition because its immune system isn't balanced, or it isn't taken care of. A parrot, which could live to 50, might live to age eight. So by going to a specialty store, or an independent pet store, which knows a lot about birds, you can get a much better nutritional diet there, and the birds do well long term. Okay. And how important is it? Are you an avian specialty veterinarian? Or are you a veterinarian? I am a vet. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am a veterinarian. Well, I'm not a doctor, so I assume, yes. but I, you know, I never yes, know. Yes, I'm a veterinarian. Okay. I specialize more with nutrition. Okay. More of a nutritionist. Yes, and okay. we do more with with birds. We also do some other animals, but generally birds. How important is it for bird owners to, to talk to their veterinarian about diet as opposed to you know, seeking it out on their own. Veterinarians generally are an extremely good source for nutritional information. And would you recommend that they see an avian specialist, or is that for for dietary recommendations? Yeah. That sort of thing? If possible, if you could go to a board-certified veterinarian or a veterinarian that belongs to the Association of Avian Veterinarians and take your bird to it once a year, kind of like you would do for your cat and dog, yeah. that would be best. Okay. By the way, do you know Dr. Teresa Lightfoot? Yes. Yeah. She, um, she's a good friend of mine. Oh, is she? Actually, our husbands are friends, and then she and I have worked together before. Yeah. She's in Tampa. And my, my father was an avian veterinarian. Oh, okay. And then he just loved birds, and he was a phenomenal clinician. We created a, an award after he passed away called the TJ Lefevre. A clinician, a veterinary practitioner of the year. And she is this recipient of that award. This was almost like eight years ago. Yeah. So among her peers, she's extremely highly respected. Oh yeah. yeah. So she's her, yeah. She's always flying all over the country to educate. Yes. Yeah, she's neat. 
Um, okay, and where are your products found, to, generally speaking? In most specialty pet stores. We're, we're either veterinarians or pet owners who love their birds, then you'll find our food. Okay. And do you have, um, on your website, is there any type of educational We have lots yeah. of educational. If you go to lefebercares.com, you can find our information there. Okay, super.